Hey, welcome to my Prime Moon Child. Uh, this is a deck unboxing for the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck. Um, let's see what we have for you. Let's see what we have in here. So I will just take the plastic off if I can get it open. I did snip it, but sometimes a little snip isn't enough. There we go. There we go. Proper. Peel off the plastic now. There we go. Peel it off. So it comes in a two-part matte printed box uh, with slight matte. Is that gilding on there? Slight gilding, yeah, slight embossing. It's not overly shiny, it's kind of a matte uh, gilding to it. Uh, this is shiny gloss spot details on the the spiders on the top and bottom of the border you have this gorgeous relief detail in the background um disney tim burton's he bought back the rights didn't he for it so nightmare before christmas deck with the pumpkin and the bottoms the same so the sides and the bottoms are the same on opposite sides uh, and then we have the back details includes a fully illustrated 78 card deck and 128 page guidebook um, explore your past, present and future with this official tarot deck inspired by Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas featuring original art of Jack, Sally and all their friends from Halloween Town. And then it has the um, Insight Editions, the publisher details and the barcode. If it doesn't have these details and it's not in a two-part box, it's not a genuine deck, just so you're aware. Um, so it has this these thumb holes on this two-part box. And it has this gorgeous pattern stripe pattern around the edge of it and it kind of all looks scuffed and dirty even though it's not it's actually textured in the design to look like it's scuffed and dirty i really like that and then we pop off so we have this ah oh, gorgeous print inside the box and then we have the book which i will get to in a moment the booklet the separate booklet and then we have the cards and these aren't wrapped in plastic and i kind of like that they're not wrapped in plastic um but we have this relief the same design on the inside with the holder with the little ribbon to lift the cards in and out of the box and um, the backs have that design as well but kind of in the black and purple <clears throat> sort of the invert almost of the design in the box they are matte printed cards they're quite thin cards and they bend relatively easily but they will bend back and forth with riffling from experience that that's what will happen um let's have a look at the cards. so we have the four which is obviously jack with zero his dog uh the magician the High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, Strength, the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, the Hanged Man, Death, Temperance, The Devil, The Tower, The Star, The Moon, The Sun, Judgment, The World, King of Candles, the Queen of Candles, I think candles replace wands, the Knight of Candles, and the Page of Candles, the Ace of Candles, the Two, the Three, Four, Five, Six, Seven, so it's more pip with images around it. Eight, nine, and the ten of candles. Yeah, it's a pip deck with some images put in around it. Um, King of Presents, Pentacles, I'm assuming. Queen of Presents, the Knight of Presents, Page of Presents. Let's get the Ace. Ace of Presents, the two. The three, four, five. Oh, come on. Six, seven, eight, 
nine and the ten of presents some people do their christmas trees like that for halloween and i'm here for it i love it uh the king of needles which i'm assuming is swords the queen of needles the knight the page the ace the two the three of needles definitely yes it looks like the three of swords four of needles the five the six seven eight the nine and the ten of needles and then we have the king of potions for the king of cups the queen the knight the page the ace the two three four five six seven eight nine and the ten of potions i do like the artwork it's a pip deck rather than a actual physical meaning don't get me wrong some of the images in the lower in the minor arcana pips um they do have images in there to kind of go with the meaning but they are very much um to me pip artwork rather than full artwork um like some other decks um yeah they ripple together pretty well just going to do it one more time the other way so that i've done it in equal amount each way and there's not they're not overly bent out of shape um obviously that end bit doesn't really count because i just pulled that extra twice um but yeah they riffle pretty they riffle really well they want to go together they want to to play um hand over they shuffle really well they don't clump i know they clumped in the beginning but they were just cut you know they're brand new out of the box they are gonna stick a little bit where they're forced together with the when they cut out but um they're really nice actually you can you can easily get them apart it's not they're not clumped they're a little bit clumpy but not anything that isn't going to wear off with use if that makes sense and the more they're shuffled and played with and pulled apart in different directions the more they're gonna um go apart they're not sticking together they're just in that initial staticness between each other i love that the page of needles love that image i love the back design yeah they're matte printed they're not leaving fingerprints on there so i don't know what they're coated with in that matte covering but they feel thicker than they are if that makes any sense um they are quite bendy as i say they will they will take the shape a little bit of whichever way you've bent them um but they don't feel like poor poor quality they're not as for the price they're a good quality for the price that they've got they're traditional tarot size and for the quality whether i would say the images necessarily match up this is the trouble with film and tv decks whether the 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 characters and the choice of images has been matches up with the true tarot meaning of the right away system is debatable but as if they went with right away they might have gone for another system but maybe tarot de marseille but from my point of view they don't always this is the trouble with tv and film ones they don't always marry up with how people the energy of the card necessarily they've kind of taken a square peg and shoved it in a round hole often in some of these decks but um I mean overall the images are, are are nice they are um it's good for any fan to have in your collection anyway um so we have the nightmare before christmas tarot deck guidebook written by minerva siegel and illustrated by abigail larson so we have the inside pages obviously this is with disney so um anybody who's selling fraudulent decks is potentially running the risk of disney the wrath of disney on the back of that we have the contents then we have the introduction understanding your tarot deck um so yeah they did change them potions to cups candles to wands or wands to candles sorry swords to needles and pentacles to presents and it goes into the major arcana i like that this is a colored book full color picture that's really good uh, the title a description and then the upright meaning and the reverse meaning 
And the same for the Magician. They're all colour ones for the Major Arcana all the way through to the World. And then we go into the Minor Arcana. I do like the colours in this booklet. And then we have the Suit of Candles. So it, has, it does have a full image, but it has its, uh, each one has a page rather than the two pages of the Major. Uh, King of Candles, upright meaning and reverse meaning. There's no kind of other description for the card. Uh, and that goes all the way through the suit. So it goes uh, king, queen, knight, page, and then it goes ace to ten uh, for each of the suits all the way through. Let's go through the potions and then we get into tarot readings. Uh, and then obviously it describes that caring for your deck, preparing to read tarot, the spreads. Uh, peek behind the Cyclops' eye, loan to smithereens, meant to be. It's obviously one of the positions in Bone to smithereens. And then about the author and about the illustrator. Um, and then obviously all the production details, the print details. And then Sally and Jack on the back in the spider web. I, I like it. I do like it. Whether I agree with, like I said before, I agree with some of the, the images chosen for it. Um, for the price point, the cards are good. I don't know if I thought that they put a slightly higher price point and put in better quality cards. Um, but I like it. I like the deck. I like the deck. I know there are a lot of fraudulent copies out there that people are selling. Um, even for the cheek of selling them at the same price as the um, authentic decks, which is terrible, to be perfectly honest. Um, so, yeah, that is a look at the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck and guidebook. I hope that has been of some use to you and hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye for now.